Man, what a roller coaster ride. And you know what? Right now, we're close to getting 100,000 billion subscribers. So if we can hit that 200 jillion subscribers before Tears of the Kingdom releases, you could have a chance of winning one free collector's edition of absolutely fucking nothing. So like and subscribe and let's roll the video. This has been quite a complicated relationship to have with a video game. This community really isn't as large as the other big games like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV or Animal Soccer World. And because of that, it's weirdly felt more like an intimate experience. All of the people who ended up absolutely hating the game at certain points left like there was some kind of gas leak in the building. But those who stuck around Piece of talked about our struggles with the game like we're some kind of soldiers stuck in a war camp by our own choice, battered and injured from updates that didn't fix the game fast enough or getting crappy scratch tickets and most importantly, hurting our feelings. And then, you know, like that's really me. So if you were like me during this journey, you were shitting pretty hard on the game. Like some kind of vengeful cactus that was slowly creeping up your butt and the only way to make it feel better was complaining about it on Discord. There was a point in time where even thinking about New Genesis was enough to put me in some kind of pointless nerd rage, like a library of basement dweller literature. Began to constantly fill my mind and all I wanted was for the game to burn in a big fire and I wanted to be the one who lit the match. Hoping something new would rise from the shit ashes of the burnt crap garbage. But something changed. I got laid and went outside and touched some grass and and then immediately ran back inside to break up with my chatbot girlfriend told her that I faked it every time we had fake internet sex and, and went back to playing good old video games and then also I played the latest PSO2 NGS update is the game a full buffet of content? not yet is the game better and more worth playing because of the last update? yes it's been a rough two years, and if you've been through it from the start of the global release, then congratulations, you finally get to see the brighter side of what happens when we all have a little bit of patience. Did all that bitching and complaining change anything along the way? Sort of yes, sort of no. Every month we get a nice little PSO2 NGS headline video showing what comes up in the following month. Some headlines felt like they announced a big plate of nothing, and then some headlines felt like they answered a, a few of our selective prayers. But the main point I'm getting to at least is that through the good and bad times we've had, they've still remained consistent and reliable to continue giving us monthly updates. Meaning with whatever limitations of staff and resources and time to fix bugs and create content, they still delivered on keeping the game updated on a monthly basis. You know, that says a lot about a game that started with probably one of the worst launches that could have possibly imagined. I'm sure on some capacity Sega regrets launching the game in the state it was in, but that's Sega for you. They seem to do things half right most of the time for the games they publish. Meanwhile, during the development over those two years, a lot of the community has been kicking and screaming about how this sucks and that's unfinished and fuck yeah, I was right along with them. At one point I was hoping the game would just shut down and we'd get some kind of full Final Fantasy XI revival. Do I feel bad talking shit about something people worked hard on? Uh, yeah, kinda. But then again, don't forget. This game is basically trying to be a Chuck E. Cheese for anime weebs. How many fucking tickets I gotta buy until you guys start giving us something good enough? So let's talk about what we've gotten so far, and where we are now, and where are the game's going. And you know, is Salon ever gonna be free? Or is the director for this game ever gonna show his face? And are we gonna get rid of all the petty drama lords and pedophiles? Well, let's do a sort of generalization of what we've gotten so far. It's been lots of bug fixes, quality of life improvements, a couple new weapons, minor combat improvements, plenty of cosmetics, and four new explorable areas with some new stuff to fight. Oh yeah, and also story content. Oddly enough, as much as I didn't give one fuck about the story or the characters, that last update that actually dropped felt like one of the most meaningful pieces of lore we have ever gotten for New Genesis. And it's primarily due to the fact that there are some actual meaningful context now and some weight was finally added to the high stakes and finally they actually developed a character does it feel like they pulled this out of their ass in the last moment originally i would have said yes but even if that was the case what we get presented with at the end of this current saga actually it all makes worthwhile to be a part of this uh, experience as well the last boss battle was a ton of fun 
thank God. So even if it took them this long to make me feel like anything for the money they spent on developing this story, I'm glad they did what they did. And even though it feels like it might have been made up as the updates dropped, there are actually a ton of clues outside of the story that hint at possibly being kind of well thought out. I mean, doing a well-produced AAA story on a Sega-sized budget is probably tricky as hell. Personally, if I was in charge of this game, I would have done a new zone each year and filled it with meaningful content along the way, but that would be a very four long years, stuck in some medium-sized open-world maps. Instead, we got four zones in two years lumped in with a bunch of standard-level stuff, and the community is absolutely aware of the fact that we've been in some kind of beta early access game, even if Sega didn't have the balls to admit it. But now that they got this all laid out as some kind of fantasy star playground, maybe I've been wrong to judge their plans. If you look at the entire package of what we have so far, they've basically set themselves up to start dropping some quality horizontal content updates here. Lots of opportunity to mix things up and possibly giving us some new things to play with. Is that gonna happen and is the future content gonna be any good? I have no fucking clue and I'm not even counting on it. If anything, I can just go play some other shit if they start killing their own game. What I can tell you is that I'm pretty excited for the things coming. But before I start even talking about the easy stuff, like the new exciting content dropping soon, there is something else I want to throw in here. This game has felt like it's been dropped off of the local city dump and we're just a bunch of crackheads trying to find some copium in the garbage. I mean, where do you think I got this piece of shit shirt from? Look at this thing, it's barely got any textures. I feel like I'm wearing some kind of PlayStation 2 graphics. Did I just talk shit about myself? When are you guys gonna give me a fucking updated version of this shirt? You know what, never mind. Back to the point. Even though this game has felt like some kind of weird internet home for a few of us, and we're all excited to see the new shit coming our way, it feels like nobody really knows about this game anymore. Will it ever reach Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, or Animal Soccer World levels of popularity? Oh, hell no. I'm not even going to pretend Sega would even have the gonads to spend the resources and, more importantly, the time to make a real AAA game. Besides dropping new content, and doing a bunch of fixes, and adding in long overdue quality of life improvements, and just trying to keep its current player base, this game has an even bigger issue. Growing its player base. And weirdly enough, why do I even get a shit about that in the first place? Now, I wouldn't call selling virtual goods with an online expiration date a ethically driven piece of built software, but there's something kind of special happening right now. We're at the point where we might get to see the first parts of PSO2 NGS's underdog moment in its entire history. Or at least I hope so. There have been so many of us who have been so frustrated with the game this entire time. I think that's because we can all see the potential of what this game could do if it ever got the right content. Maybe that's why I kind of give a shit about it. And with the new creative spaces coming our way, New Genesis is finally giving itself that opportunity to go in the right direction. I have no idea how long it took them to develop something like this, but it seems pretty cool. You're able to save and share blueprints you created, search up people's spaces and even modify the shape and size of objects and decorations. There's a lot of things people are going to do with this once it releases. And it's going to benefit the game and its community in all kinds of new ways that we have all been waiting for. Oh, did you want me to keep shitting on the game or something? Of course there's a ton of shit they still need to do. You guys don't even know how badly I'm still pissing and shitting myself over the fact that Braver is nothing like base PSO2's Braver. For better or for worse. This game still has a lot of things it needs to do in order to feel like a full package, so if some of you are a bit hesitant to come back and check out the game, I don't blame you. PSO2 NGS pissed off a lot of people and is going to have to do a lot of work to try and get its entire audience back. I don't know if that Ultra Evolution update is going to just be the creative space upgrade, but by the time I release this video, the Gunblade weapon will have been released and I think it's going to be a good addition to the game. Let's just hope they do the rest of the weapons the same justice. Or if they don't, then it'll just give me more bullshit to talk about in the next video. Thanks for getting me to 1k subs, everyone. I can't pump out content as fast as I would like right now, but every time I see a new subscriber, it motivates me that much more to make videos when I can. Man, I can't wait for those creative space updates, though. I've got some really interesting things I want to do myself, but we all know those new decorations are going to be thrown into those scratch tickets to get that sweet, sweet FOMO money. At least the erotic roleplay harems are going to make a ton of cash for the game.
Everything you brought from the life in the house. Everything you brought from the life in the house. Everything you brought from the life in the house. Everything you brought from the life in the house. 